it's a get my life together back kind of day today and before the chaos i'm just gonna stare into the distance like i do i always love to watch the sky from my windows here so i'm blessed for this and i'm just adjusting my energies before i actually get up and i know people like to say like don't go on your phone first thing in the morning and i guess i don't i like do this after staring for a bit but i will just watch one youtube video just one to like feel more awake before getting up Got my breakfast, but I just wanted to recommend this goji berry water for y'all. Lemon water, lime water, goji berry water, also good. So as you can see, it's like kind of gray outside. I'm still trying to be like motivated to get my life back together. And maybe this is a good thing after all, because if it's sunny, I would probably want to be more outside than in. So we're still going to try to make a day out of it. Today I did want to film some content for like UGC that I like don't necessarily have a deadline for it but i just want to turn it in sooner than later because it's just like satisfying to get it done get it out of the way but i don't think i can film today because even if i do the videos will look so bad so maybe that's for tomorrow maybe this just goes to show that you can't you know force it you just have to go with the flow and do what's best at the time so instead what I'm going to do right now before I go hop in the shower and I have to replace the uh, shower head so you'll see that in a second too. But I'm going to find like 30 content creators, see if they're interested in the product or any feedback. I'm not paying any influencers to talk about this. Just want to see like if people like it. So I have like a little bit of a list of the type of people I'm looking for. So the breakthrough blueprint was made for like myself to basically get my life back together, to feel unstuck, to break that like toxic cycle and make breakthroughs in my life. So the people would be like the people I'm looking for would be in that space as well where they talk about this kind of stuff. When I made this, I was I kind of made a list of my own problems. <laughs> so some other problems, although these are smaller ones, I don't think I will like necessarily look for people in this space that the book helps out with is like social media addiction, um, excessive like digital or content consumption. And then lastly, I think another one good one to add is like mindfulness, people who are talk about that kind of stuff. Um, slow living could be a good one because that's like related to mindfulness and also habits habits would be a big one also i'm hoping later today hear back from this nonprofit that i was um doing a partnership with i sent my video in for approval like a week ago and i still haven't heard back so it's like what's going on because i thought i would be able to post it like last week companies and brands have like the infrastructure to find influencers through like a back-end software but i don't so I'm just going on TikTok. I think it's easier to find people that way and like find their contacts. And if they wanted to make a video, again, this is like obviously no obligation. I feel like it would be easy to incorporate it instead of like a massive integration, which I'm not asking anyone for. So that's what I'm doing. And the first video that popped up on my page is self-care and wellness. Those are definitely good spaces. I care about this kind of stuff and I talked a lot about sustainability in the past and it's something that I will still continue to do but I think I just want to be more like holistic with my approach instead of like as focused. It's been an hour and I've only found five people. Yeah. At this rate, how are we going to get to 30 or 50 people? When I search my like people who might be interested in this kind of stuff, it's people who are like already doing well. And I, I mean, I guess it makes sense because people don't really post about when they're... It just shows you social media. It's just a highlight reel, right? People aren't posting about when they're going through it. And I mean, fair enough. But it's like, I just want to make sure that this is going to people who feel like it will be helpful for them. And I just want to make sure that the vibes match. So, so I'm just going to ask on TikTok for anybody who is interested. 
in this. Maybe I should post it now, but I kind of want to post it after I shower because I just look a little rough. Million right dollars. And we all know how superficial TikTok is. Let's go install my shower head with me. So right now I need to replace the filter on this because there's also some discoloration on the shower head. If you see my Jolie review video, you'll see it here. But right now they were nice enough to send me a new one. So I'm going to replace that, the shower head, along with the filter the box looks like. I actually got this a while back. I think it's been a month, but I haven't changed it because I was like... Oh, it's such a waste, like it still works. It's just like, you know, that minor kind of thing. But I think there was a life lesson that came from this. Even though it is a little bit of a discoloration, aesthetically, it's honestly just not pleasing. It's not really giving the best life and we need to be living our best life. Does our best life include having discoloration and mineral and calcium deposits on our shower head? I don't think so, so if we have the choice to replace it, why not? This is a new shower head. Look at this. They changed the color of the plating. Please. Yes, there's a new filter. Comes with a little wrench. new one looking beautiful as ever oh this is interesting this is new so there was this little blue thing that came in the envelope but i was like confused what this is and then i see it in the guide it wasn't here before in like the original one that i got so this is a flow restrictor to ensure that they are federally compliant the government controls how much water comes out of the shower head like okay then um, but it only applies to California, Colorado, Hawaii, Massachusetts, New York, Oregon, Rhode Island, Vermont, and Washington. It doesn't apply to me, and I don't have to do that extra work, but good to know. good the black looks so sleek and chic she is a lot look at this beautiful elegant stunning goodbye now it was a great shower and something in me after just told me it was time for a haircut i was feeling like it was too long it's the summer it's getting hot so let's go for something a little shorter so i whipped out the scissors and just took off some length you know and i have no really method to this there are methods out there but i just didn't even bother because i'm just doing a simple straight across cut it doesn't need to be perfect because my ends kind of curl up anyways so it doesn't really matter but i styled it with this gel but i do have an updated uh, wavy hair routine that you can see on my page if you go to it but today I just wanted to do this one step. So I scrunched it, did some micro plopping with this cotton t-shirt. Very easy two-step routine. And you'll see what it looks like later. The afternoon wasn't really interesting, TBH, so I didn't really film it. But basically, I was doing a 30-minute dopamine detox, and I was filming it because it's an exercise in my book, my digital journal. But turns out I didn't press record, and so that was kind of a flop. Um, so I have to do it again some other day, which is no problem. And then I filmed some TikToks, which took way too long. It's so much later in the day. It's 9.30 at night, but look at my hair. It's dry. So I'll show you. I don't know. It kind of half gives me like Lord Farquhar vibes, <laughs> but I also kind of like it. Chic. Je ne sais quoi. It's, it's everything. Basically, did start posting like, uh, like behind the scenes of launching, but I didn't post a post to 
recruit influencers because I guess I kind of still haven't decided or like creators because I guess I still haven't decided like what I would want yeah so I did post some TikToks I think it's really like I was just talking about kind of what I was thinking about the launch and stuff like that it got like 200 something views it's like obviously not much because that's where I've been stuck out on TikTok but I think it was good anyways because it's like putting myself out there um but right now actually I'm just doing a little bit of goal setting before the end of this year because I realize I, I have June goals but I don't have end of the year goals and that feels a little bit silly because like what is this ultimately adding to so that's what I'm doing now I got this very cute notebook for it full of little puppies because I love dogs like I checked everything off my new list today I'm just gonna do my 2023 goals and then I'm gonna work out and I think it's a productive day I'm gonna go to sleep at like it's 10 10 right now why did I think it was 9 30 You know you watch a lot of baby animal videos when this gets recommended on your page and it only has 279 views but look at them this is such a good way to relax oh so first i'm doing this scoliosis exercise by miss jessica and i saw the comments are pretty good like People have seen results, so I'm gonna keep this up and let y'all know how it goes. I love yoga with Adrian. I did her 30 day yoga challenge at the beginning of this year, January. So great. So I'm just probably gonna pick a video from her core and restore 30 minutes, maybe. Love wins yoga. That's the latest one. I guess it's supposed to be like pride related. But like, I don't know how yoga is specific to that, but I might be able to try it. 21 minutes, not that bad. Hello everyone, welcome to Yoga with Adrian. Hi Adrian. Yeah, we can try this. Okay, so these are the two I have lined up. I usually just pull it up on my laptop. And if anyone has any yoga mat recommendations, please let me know. I got this hand woven one, but like, I put it in the washing machine, so that's my fault. But I want another one. Like I talked about with the shower head, it's just like these little things. It's like just the tiny things that kind of just give the not so good vibes. And yeah, I would love something that's like not, not made with plastic, PVC, polymer, and heavily processed stuff. Like rubber would be great if you guys know any. <sighs> yeah. And I'll get to this.